can't express to you how much that made me mad. <laughs> a single photon goes through both slits. It goes through both slits. It interferes with itself, and you still get these patterns. So here's a, the most boring experiment ever done. This guy shot one photon at a time every couple of seconds until he got to a picture about like this. And you'll notice that the photons tend to line up in these bright areas and not in the dark areas. So this proved conclusively that even though it seemed to be a particle, and even though it seemed to be a wave, it seemed to be able to do it at the same time. And that's why quantum mechanics is terrible. <laughs> so now that you're introduced to why it's so bizarre, here are some misconceptions. Uh, this is more of a misconception from the, from the 80s. <laughs> this just dozens of times in very obscure documentaries. But basically, every once in a while you'll hear somebody saying that quantum mechanics is, is physics trying to bridge the gap between science and spirituality and how it shows that we're all one and the same in this tapestry of life. Uh, but, no. <laughs> it turns out that you can't really do the math behind uh, particle behavior without looking at many particles at the same time. And it turns out that if you see two electrons or two protons or whatever, they're basically the exact same thing. The universe can't tell the difference. And then some math happens, and you get chemistry that's not incredibly boring. And you get lasers, which everybody loves. So here's an example of, uh, rather than try to explain it and just blow your minds, here's how lasers work. If you're randomly creating two, two photons, say one of them's, uh, if a photon is randomly created and it could be in either red or green, apropos of nothing, knowing nothing else, it should be about 50-50 chance of being red or green. What's weird is if you have another photon already present that's green, then the chance of this new guy being green, it turns out, is going to be two-thirds because you look at the, the, uh, all the particles available at the same time. So, it could have interchanged and you end up with two, or it could not have interchanged and you end up with two, or it's fundamentally different, you can't interchange them, and there's only one way that can happen. If this seems bizarre to you, or confusing, then the bar is back there. <laughs> and as it happens, if you have just a hell of a lot more photons in a particular state, then it's a hell of a lot more likely that the new photon will be created in the same state. Ad nauseum. So, 